Hey everybody, welcome back to another BrightSpit01 video. Today we're going to be opening up the WWE Elite Series 97, the goddess Alexa Bliss. Here she is in all of her glory here. This is her SummerSlam attire that she beat Eva Marie at. She beat Eva Marie at SummerSlam and she won fantastically. And uh, she's from Ohio. If you want to read and pause the video about her accomplishments, these are the action figures I'm collecting about that Ronda Rousey. I'm skipping that one because... I just don't like that version of Ronda Rousey. They could have done a little bit better. But anyways, here's a picture of her again. And more of, you know, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, where she lives. And Five Feet of Fury for the box. True Effects Edition. All that good stuff. And this fantastic picture. Anyways, enough talking, guys. Come on. Enough talking. Let's open her up. Alright, everybody. Here she is. My favorite female wrestler, Alexa Bliss. So, uh, this is basically be her evil gimmick, you know, I'm possessed by Bray Wyatt, and she comes with a classic Lily doll that everyone's gonna go nuts about. Um, I will tell you this. This figure right here, when I opened it up out of the packaging, I feel like this figure is going to be the straight-up MVP of all action figures. I think Alexa Bliss wins this one. I think she wins this one, period, no questions asked. I feel like when they did her Ultimate Edition figure... They basically nailed that figure out of the park. Should they make another one? I think they should. And if they don't step up their game and do a Carmella Ultimate Edition, then I do not know what else to tell you. But for right now, I hope that she comes back. Maybe help out Bailey with Damage Control 2.0. All that jazz. But anyways, enough talk. Enough talk. Enough talk. And Lily is gone. Bye-bye, Lily. I'll get her back, I promise. And she, she ain't gonna be running away from Bryce. I don't think so. That little doll ain't running away from me. It's not gonna happen. Anyways, here she is in all of her glory. So this is her original attire. The blue attire was her fighting at one of my favorite pay-per-views of all time, SummerSlam. SummerSlam and WrestleMania are like my both favorites. So this is her, basically her SummerSlam attire, which again... I love the blue. I love, you know, how the little strap goes down where her belly is, where her abs are. Very, very nice. And it definitely makes her boobs stand out. And yes, she does have nice boobs. Don't qu don't question why. She just does. That's why God made them for a reason. So men can marry them and create beautiful children with them and become the great parents of all time and then pass on the bloodline of the generation of the generation of the generation of the generation. That's right. Generations matter. Anyways, so she finally does have double-jointed elbows, and oh my gosh, they literally made her arms still small. I kind of wish they would make her arms a little bit buff, because, I mean, they can't be that small in real life. I mean, come on, it's Alexa Bliss for crying out loud. And then you can move her, you know, her hands a little bit, except those little spikes that are kind of in the way, but it's alright. Um, you can still spin it around, move them up, move it slightly down. Arms go 60 degrees, which is obviously a good thing for Alexa Bliss figure. That's why it's going to become the MVP of Elite Series 97. I mean, it's not really like the best series, but since you added Alexa Bliss on there, I think it makes it 10 times better. And it makes me want to say thank you, Alexa Bliss, because I do not want to get that Ronda Rousey figure, because that Ronda Rousey figure looks like total butt crack. Why? Because she wears a freaking long sleeve. And wins the dang Royal Rumble. Are you kidding me, man? No. Oh my gosh. It, I, I can care less about that Royal Rumble win. I'm just happy that um, Bailey won the Royal Rumble in 2023 slash 2024. Actually, it was 2024. 2023 was Rhea Ripley. Again, my bad. I know my history of wrestling. Sometimes I get it mixed up. Time or the two. And she can split her legs pretty good. Very good indeed. And of course, for the first time for this Alexa Bliss, she's also going to have, y'all ready for this? Good old double jointed knees. You can't basically see it because of the knee pads, but she definitely got some double jointed knees going on, baby. So that is pretty good. So you can bend that, and you can also spin this part right here, or her hip side. Uh, you can spin her boots here, her wrestling tr boots, of course. Was that trunks? I didn't mean to say trunks. Uh, it's still the same basic foot, obviously. Um, I kind of wish they would update it a little bit, but 
It is what it is. I mean, most of the figure stands up. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. And let me make myself perfectly honest and perfectly clear. Should they update the wrestling boots if they ever decide to make another Alexa Bliss figure? I'm going to say yes, absolutely, just to keep it, you know, more modern and stuff. And then you can move her chest up and down a little bit, but not all the way up and down, but that's kind of how it is. And then Alexa Bliss, however, she can't really move her head up and down, but you can move her head around if you wanted to. And I heard if you pop this head off and switch it with the Ultimate Edition, it would make it like 10 times better. Or if you don't want her to have the makeup on, if you just want her to have the plain regular Alexa Bliss without the play slash pain on her wrestling attire. If, if, if I find another one like this, if I wanted to or not, I probably would buy at least probably three figures of Alexa Bliss and then maybe like make a custom like Alexa Bliss and the and the red a little the red the red attire it's when she was fighting um charlotte flair for the ww raw women's championship and she retained something like that so i would like to make a custom of that maybe they'll maybe they'll make like a re-release of this figure again that'll be kind of nice um yep and then you, of course you can move this part of course before we end off this video because we can't end off the video with that and of course we got to do her interchangeable hands which we all know how this works. You pop the hand off as so. Same thing on the other side. And then you take her... Well, you take her hands, basically, right? You take her flat hands. Oh, almost lost her hands. Don't do that now. Um, you take the hands. You pop them in so. Like like that. But don't try to get it mixed up with your Ultimate Edition. Because she also does have the, the flat hands as well, too. So... Keep that in mind if you own that figure specifically. If you don't, then I recommend getting that figure because it's really, really good. And then all you gotta do is just make her do the classic signature pose. Doing the, ooh, I'm so cute, I'm so adorable hands. And then, you know, or you can get or ask someone for a high five. You can, you can go for a high five on this one. Or you can go for the good old, I'm gonna slap you in the face. Like... Smack, like, you know, like like that, you know what I mean? And you can, or you can make her do, like, the Pledge of Allegiance. Show her, her heart for her country, which makes it very, very nice. Or she can just, you know, go, yay, I'm, I'm the best, I'm the Raw Women's Champion. You know, she can have her arms up in the air and be like, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. You know, just being all like and being all happy and stuff. Or she can have her hands on the side, maybe she's about to get ready for her match and she's just, Trying to keep her body warm, you know. Or just having a conversation with somebody. I guess you can call that one like a conversation, like hand, you know, posture, I guess you could say. Anyways, I think that's about it. Let me go find the Lily doll before we end up this video. Alright, everybody. So here is the Lily doll, which, you know, pretty cool. And you can move its head. You can pretend that it's alive. Or you can go, ooh, it's spooky, it's scary. Or you can just pop the head off, just like Charlotte Flair did to it. And yeah, she was not happy about that, wasn't she? No, she was not. And then, of course, if she wants to hold her Lily doll, basically you just pop the hands off once again. Besides, I'm going to give her her regular hands now instead of her flat hands now. Um, and we and we can just make her just hold on to the figure as so. so. And here she is, good old Alexa Bliss, holding on to the Lily doll on her left hand, of course. You can make her hold her by her feet. Or you can make her hold her by her arm, of course. You can just, you know, she can, like, hold on to it and whatnot. All that jazz. I don't know when they're gonna, you know, bring back the goddess gimmick again. Because I'm kind of tired of the old, uh, scary spooky Uga Alexa Bliss. I mean, don't get me wrong, she had a good run with it. But I'm just ready for that storyline to move on. Because R.I.P. to Bray Wyatt, if you haven't been aware, he's no longer with us anymore. Which sucks. I mean, it kind of sucks, dude. I think we can all admit to that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I appreciate all my viewers that have watched this video to the beginning to the end. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. So for right now, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.